a groundbreaking study which reveals the additives in bread may cause serious health and behavioural problems in our youngsters. I do think it should be against the law to put preservatives such as 282 in bread. Who would have thought that bread could make kids go ballistic? Our daily bread. Life just wouldn't be the same without it. But now thousands of Aussie children may have to give it up. In the case of Brad, within 24 hours, he was screaming, body come out with a rash all over his face, chest, arms. Danny Hewton was breastfeeding baby Christopher. He was just getting sicker and sicker. The culprit, something in her milk. But what? As a baby, he was a nightmare. Um, he screamed and screamed and screamed. He didn't sleep. He slept out of absolute exhaustion. Um, and then at that point, he would go to sleep for up to an hour and then be on full-on screaming all the time. After months of testing, his suffering was traced to a food additive, a mould inhibitor called calcium propionate. Its most common use, bread. I just thought, this is rubbish. This is healthy food. How can healthy food be bad for you? I think this is a story that needs to be told. I think it's really important. What our study shows is that there are almost certainly children out there who are affected every day by something in a healthy food and they have no idea. Sue Dengate is an author and food intolerance counsellor. Her research into calcium propionate, or 282 as it's commonly known, has finally proven a link with children's behavioural problems. A lot of the parents had no idea what was going on. Some of the children had been diagnosed with ADHD, some of them had suspected ADHD. For six months, Sue, along with the paediatric unit of the Royal Darwin Hospital, studied 27 children showing symptoms of irritability and violence. We had 300 loaves of bread baked, half of which contained the bread preservative and half didn't, and I didn't know which was which. And when the children were ready to do their challenges, I would deliver some bread, and they had to eat four slices a day for three days, and keep behaviour ratings. When those desperate parents rated their children's behaviour, the results were not only staggering, they were groundbreaking. It showed that some of the children, it was about 50% of the children, their behaviour became worse on the challenge that they did with the preservative in the bread. And when the bread was preservative free... Oh, the kids improved so much. It, it was really lovely to see. Um, in fact, I had a couple of parents ringing up during the challenge. Now, remember, they didn't know which bread was which, and they rang up and they said, we don't want any more of that bad bread, thank you. <laughs> For a long time, I didn't want to be their mother. It's an awful thing to say, but I really, you know, if I could have run off into the night, I probably would have. Trudy Bland says her two girls were doing badly at school, and it made life at home a nightmare. Uh, one night, we were all sitting at the table, and uh, somebody came to the front door. And in the time it took me to leave the table and answer the front door, the girls had gone into their bedroom pulled their clothes out of their wardrobe, sheets off their bed, mattresses off their bed, totally trashed it. Doctors said, put them on medication. Instead, she took part in Sue's trial and in no time saw dramatic improvements in both Jordan and Sophie. Now I believe that with, the, with diet and, of course, our health, they're reaching their full potential. They're doing very well at school and socially they're doing, socially they're doing very well. Did you ever suspect it was bread? that was making them behave the way they were. We actually thought we were bad parents. We thought, what is it that we're doing wrong? So he stopped eating the bread, but then it took another five days for the effect to wear off. So um, it was quite dramatic and it was quite obvious that that was what was causing his bad behaviour. Annette Cowie now knows her son's uncontrollable outbursts can be blamed on bread preservatives. Simon was just four at the time and he was having a lot of trouble at preschool um, with violent behaviour. He'd actually been suspended four times for um, throwing chairs around the room and scissors and he's just getting really angry and out of control. Simon's now very much in control. He has to watch what he eats, but it's better than the alternative. We've had to make our own bread, for example, and uh, Brumby's is one place we can buy bread that doesn't have 2 h 2 in it. I just rather be healthy instead. I've been eating all fat. Junk. I'd much rather have my child on uh, a strict diet than on medication. Despite such overwhelming evidence, food authorities have until now refused to recognise the problem. Look, it was frustrating in the extreme. 
I was told by a National Food Authority that they didn't want to hear reports from mothers. They only wanted to hear findings from scientists. But now they'll have to sit up and take notice. Sue's findings are about to be published in the prestigious Journal of Paediatrics and Child Health. Paediatrician Dr David Brewster. Now, Sue Gen Dengate deserves to be uh, congratulated for having the courage to submit her ideas that children were reacting to uh, a preservative in bread, calcium propionate, uh, causing children to have ADD. Of course, not all behavioural problems can be linked to the preservative. But Sue says it's a good place for frantic parents to start looking. And it's as simple as switching to preservative-free bread for three weeks and seeing what happens to your child. It won't be the whole answer, but for those who are affected, then it is definitely worth looking at. Matty Curtis reporting there. Now some encouraging...